The St. Lucia Development Bank, SLDB, has been disbursing monies to the small business sector to help them mitigate the impacts of COVID-19. The financial support forms part of the government's economic recovery and resilience plan. Hamadi Mark reports. When the government of St. Lucia launched the Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan in July 2020, special arrangements were made to repurpose the Climate Adaptation Financing Facility, the CAF, to include a loan grant sub-facility, the Business Recovery Program, which aimed to assist micro, small and medium-sized businesses affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as those battling unavoidable effects of climate change. 2.6 million U.S. dollars remain available under the CAF to help businesses through the Business Recovery Program and to continue its traditional support to businesses, farmers and homeowners in building resilience to climate change. Keegan Myers operates a 4.5-acre farm in the hills of Babano. He specializes in organic produce. In the past year, Mother Nature has assaulted his business on numerous occasions. Climate change has been possibly the most difficult opponent that uh, we've faced in the last couple of years. Um, to combat climate change, I actually embarked on a project to build a climate smart greenhouse. And that was one thing that we did to really try to push the envelope in terms of developing higher yields and better productivity. So last year in particular, we experienced for the first part of the year an extreme drought. And for the latter part of the year, we had an overwhelming amount of torrential rain. With his yields destroyed and his savings drained, a vicious cycle of mitigating the effect of climate change, mayors approached the St. Lucia Development Bank for funding under the CAF. They understood the plan that we were going with, uh, that they understood the risks and they understood what we had in terms of uh, assets to basically back it, back it up. Um, so that process, it took a little time, I'm assuming because it's a farm that has a different business um, model so it took a little bit of finagling to get them to understand it they did and once they once they once they did i think it was a really quick turnaround at the end martin martin operates bamboo springs a natural unpurified water which is sold to hotels and households with the tourism industry in a komoto state due to the covid 19 pandemic his operations were severely impacted our revenue was, um, was dropped about 60% due to COVID. The St. Lucia Development Bank offers the CAF business recovery loans at a starting interest rate of 4.5% with a 15% grant component. I saw out of this and then yes, they, they, they're willing to um, give businesses like mine grants or, or loans as for say, to help them to recover from the COVID. And I thought, hey, look, since I'm in that procurement, I, I suit the criteria for uh, applying for the loan I did. I didn't necessarily have all the time to sit down and constantly do my books and so forth. So to have an institution that actually understands and is willing to work with you, it, it can understand that the value that you bring and can actually bring value in terms of working with you to develop you know, the, your uh, say application and, and, and business plan so that you know you can go ahead through to get a loan and not just oh, I'm sorry you don't have enough and shut you down and not give you the advice that is I don't that's it's profound to actually have that level of support the CAF business recovery program received technical and financial support from the World Bank the climate change investment funds and the European Union through the ACP EU natural disaster risk reduction program from the Government Information Service, I'm Humadi Mark.